Welcome to the Nutty Historian Channel. Hi everyone. Today we're going to touch upon an interesting topic. The interesting topic is about the discovery of the X-rays. And this was this occurred in uh, uh, 1895 accidentally by a German physicist called Wilhelm Röntgen. Everybody's gone uh, to the doctor uh, and taken some x-rays but uh, the real reason of how they occurred is uh, to be found and we're going to talk about it uh, today well uh, Röntgen was working accidentally uh, with a cathode ray tube in his laboratory he was working with tubes similar to our fluorescent, fluorescent uh, light bulbs he evacuated once the tube of all air and filled it with a special gas and passed a high electric voltage through it. When he did this, the tube would produce a fluorescent glow. Röntgen shielded the uh, tube with heavy black paper and found that a green colored fluorescent light could be seen coming from a screen setting a few feet away from the tube. He realized that he had produced a unknown invisible light or a ray that was being emitted from the tube. A ray that was capable of passing through the heavy paper covering the tube. And through additional experiments he also found that the new ray would pass through most substances, most substances uh, casting shadows of solid uh, objects on pieces of film. He named the new uh, ray X-ray because X is used to indicate the unknown quantity. Um, when he discovered it, uh, after he discovered the x-rays, there was uh, uh, people told uh, about the uh, incident and also he, uh, they called it uh, Röntgen rays because he was the inventor, he discovered it. Now, in his discovery, Röntgen found that the x-rays would pass through the tissue of, human, of humans leaving the bones and metal visible. So uh, one time he performed a, an experiment uh, in, again in 1895. Uh, he performed an experiment on his wife's hand while she was wearing a ring on her finger. Now the news of uh, Röntgen uh, discoveries sp uh, spread quickly throughout the world and the scientists uh, everywhere they could uh, would uh, be able to duplicate his experiment because the cathode tube was very well known back then in that period of time and in 1896 the x-rays were being utilized clinically in the United States for such things as bone fractures or even gunshot wounds. So nowadays it really comes to show you how important the x-rays are and uh, were. Uh, with new technology x-rays are not as harmful as they used to be and that's the history of x-rays and the discovery of it. So I hope you enjoyed this portion of the show and I hope to see you next time with more exciting uh, topics. Tune in. Thanks. Have a good night.